Hi guys, this is Apurva here. I am your dietitian and today I have come up with another topic that is on obesity. Foods doesn't make you fat, but the amount of food what you take in does make you fat. And yes, today's topic is about the fat, which is the general term used or the obesity. I am Apurva. I am a dietitian by profession with MSc Masters in Nutrition with 9 years of total experience where 5 years of experience in slimming industry and 4 years of experience in online diet counselling. Why late? Let's get into the topic and discuss about the obesity. Obesity is the most common and often underestimated uh, problem in all the countries. And obesity is usually defined as the excessive amount of fat accumulation in the adipose tissue which usually impairs your health. The amount of fat or the distribution of fat is usually in the abdominal uh, areas like trunk and waist and it is referred to as abdominal obesity. Or it is distributed peripherally around the body and which is referred to as the gynoid obesity. The risk involved with the abdominal obesity is more when compared to the gynoid or the peripheral obesity. As per the recent studies, the, it is observed that the obesity usually increases along with the age. It is an age standardized one where the prevalence is almost around 13.6%. And as the age increases, the obesity increases and it reaches to the peaks of, uh, you know, the increases till the peaks of 55 to 65 years also. And the studies also say that the high class resident are mostly into obesity section when compared to the suburbs or the rural areas. The globally epidemic of obesity is usually due to the societal factors because they usually encourage sedentary kind of lifestyle, high fatty food consumption and energy dense diets. The energy intake, either you're eating it or either you're drinking, is not equal to the energy what you're expending out. That's how you start gaining the fat in your body and that's how it slowly results to obesity. Now, usually the obesity is mostly found in even Childhood. I, I have even discussed about the childhood obesity in my previous topics, in my previous videos. And the obesity in children is uh, results in the obesity in adults too. The kids who ever are obese are most likely to be obese in adulthood also when compared to their counterparts. So that is the right age where you have to st stop prevailing the obesity in your kids. So that that doesn't result in obesity in adulthood. So what are the parameters which is used to define that a person is obese? There are many factors. You will find that the person whoever is fat doesn't have a high amount of fat in their body. They just look Fluffy, fluffy, they look chubby, but they do not have the high amount of fat. So what are the reasons or what are the parameters which can be used to, you know, make sure we can categorize people under the obesity section. Let's discuss about this in my next video. Till then, please 
Stay tuned to my channel Apurva Dietitian in YouTube. If you have liked this video, please hit a thumbs up button below and share it with your loved ones. Those who haven't still subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit a subscribe button below and please stay tuned to my channel. I would be coming every Wednesday with a new set of videos. Thank you so much for watching my video. Bye-bye.